Hi, and good day. We spend one third of our life sleeping. That's approximately eight hours a day. And many of you who are sleeping are not sleeping correctly or in the right postural position. We obviously think that we buy a bed because it's comfortable, but the problem with something that's too comfortable is that we get into awkward positions and we lose the stability of keeping our spine in the right postural position. When we think of posture, it's not only when we stand upright, but it's also when we lie down or even when we sit up. So if your spine is in a wrong position for eight hours out of the 24 hours in a day, and the ligaments, the muscles, the tendons, as well as the nerves, they will become active. Meaning that if there's excessive stress on those joints, you can then start getting disc inflammation, nerve inflammation, muscle spasm, muscle cramping, stiff neck, pain in the lower back, pain down the leg, and the, and the list can go on and on and on. So I urge you that one of the most important things is you need to get away from that soft mattress. Studies show that being on your back is definitely the best position for the spine to be in. It helps keep the spine in line and helps keep everything in a neutral plane. But studies also show that being on a hard surface helps keep the spine to where it does not sag into a mattress. And that's actually a better position to be in where you'll have less muscle spasm and less stress. I recommend when you're on your back, use a yoga mat, a soft little blanket, a towel, maybe even just lying directly on the carpet alone. Although you do not want to be directly on a hard cement surface because that can be a little bit of achiness or discomfort you may have where the bone hits the hard surface. Although I recommend keeping the knees slightly bent. You may want to put a little pillow underneath the, underneath the knees. What that does is two things. It decompresses the sacrum, the little triangular bone between the pelvis and the lower back, and it allows the decompression to be equally stabilized throughout the whole lower back because the lumbar lordosis, which is the inward curve of the lower spine, that lower curve that you have will then start to come out and make the back a little more flatter, allowing the uh, parts of the body, the lower back, the back of the neck, the shoulder blades to be equally distributed so when you wake up, you will not have pain or discomfort. Although, I will say like anything else, when you first start this process, being on the floor, you may wake up with a little bit of soreness. You may be achy uh, throughout the back, throughout the back of the shoulders, but that should only last a couple of days. And my best analogy is this, if you just worked out at the gym, the first time or the second time, expect yourself to be very sore because you're utilizing different elements, different muscles, different ligaments, and different parts of your body that you've never used before. But you'll see a big change. And as you do it, you'll start to notice your pain will start to dissipate. Uh, hopefully you'll see a lot of relief for the muscle spasm. You'll wake up more refreshed and hopefully you'll feel like a new person. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.